for Old Podcast. <laughs> Said it right this time. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, Star Trek Las Vegas is happening August 6th through the 9th, and we will both be there. Yes. We both went to Star Wars Celebration in April, so mm-hmm. now we kind of have the best of both worlds. Yes, I was kind of newly introduced into her world, and now she's immersing herself in mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be Star Wars Trekkies in no time. Yes. <laughs> Best of both worlds, right? I've even I've been Spoxercising my hands so I can make sure that I can do this on command. This is how you do it at home, for you guys who don't know. <laughs> we do this thing called the Spock 5 or the Psy 5. It's like a... <laughs> it looks so painful. <laughs> Mine tries to stay where it's supposed to be. Uh, um, but we will be there in a week, and I am so excited. There's um, We're going to have a Spock Memorial Day. That's on Friday. But it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I mean, four days of trek, and it's so awesome. It's literally like having a family there. Like, <sighs> it's a breath of fresh air. It's a vacation. It's not a stressful convention. Like, sometimes you're like, oh, my gosh, do I have my costumes ready? Even if you don't. You have to get from one place to the other, like, yeah. A to B, like, very little amount of time to do things. You, you don't even care when you're there. You're just like, oh, hey, there's my friend. You can sit and talk for an hour. It doesn't even matter if you get there because you've been there, like, five years in a row. It's fine. But for the what newcomers... <laughs> yeah, see, you're, yeah, too. <laughs> We're going to introduce you to a few things here and there, but the best part is the people there. I mean, uh, Creation Entertainment puts it on every year at the Rio. Um, they used to have, um, oh, I don't think it was Creation, but uh, they used to have a uh, Star Trek experience at the Hilton, but um, as soon as that went off, I think Creation just picked it back up. And um, they're slowly, you know, gaining more and more props, more and more experience. And I think the fans just go there just to see each other and just be submerged in Star Trek. I mean, we have pool parties. We have new friends, old friends. It's a family reunion. You tell anybody, they're like, oh, yeah, it's a family reunion. It's It's like one of my favorite elements about conventions, um, besides the cosplay and besides the art and, like, the panels and things like that, is, like, the atmosphere. And I've heard so many good things about this one in particular that I'm really excited to see, like, Everyone's just gonna be happy there. There's not yes. gonna be any problems. There's it's not gonna never be drama there. There's, I mean, there's no mad, sad person there ever. I mean, people are just unless when they're unless they're crying. Unless they're crying, we're gonna be doing a lot of crying. But it's okay. It's happy tears of experience of joy. That's <laughs> yes. <laughs> so as far as cosplay goes, what are the what's the general Amen. consensus? A lot of people will do Klingons there. You'll see a lot of Klingons, Seven of Nines, um, Captain Kirk's, uh, cons. Cons are really fun to see because there's so many different ones. They have this shirt. You've seen the Wookiee shirts, you know? Yeah, They have the whole thing on. They have con shirts where it's, like, open-chested and hairy chest. (laughs) It's, like, abs. It's so awesome. But you get to see so many um, different colors of people. Um, You see, like, blues and greens, and then you see, like, the Klingons, and you see so many people put so much into their costumes. I mean, um, you've got Eric Allen Hall who does his Borg like oh every goodness, year. It's so cool. He's been building on it since 1993, I believe. And it gets better and better every year. It's so cool. I mean, so there's, there's new more ride. added on to it. Mm-hmm. We're actually going to be doing like um, a spotlight on his Borg um, after yes. Star Trek Las Vegas. So um, make sure that you're around for that. Yes. Check that out because it's super worth it. It's a good story, too. Like, he has a story for it, and most people do with their costumes. Like, my first costume was an Orion Slave, which I did every year. It's it's a lot to get into the paint, but it's it's so much fun being like a different alien species. And the people there, this is what's different about Comic Cons and Star Trek conventions. People will walk up to you and say, that is the coolest costume, let's take a picture. No one ever gives you dirty looks. No one. Not one person. <laughs> it's the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Other than Disneyland. <laughs> but you're going to love it. I'm so excited for you to be there. It's, it's The more magical. I watch it, the more excited I get. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, I keep like looking at certain characters and I'm like, I bet I'll see one of those. I bet I'll mm-hmm. see one of those. I'll bet I'll see one of those. It's so fun when you know an obscure character, too. When you watch an, uh, an episode... You get, you get the reference. It makes yeah, it more, it's like, like an entertaining. Yeah, it's like an inside joke. I'm like, oh, I know that's It's from. like uh, the, the chef, um, Darth Vader, with the Jar Jar Binks head exactly. on the platter. Exactly. They get creative, too. Um, there was a Playborg bunny 
That was before oh my, my time, gosh. but it was the cutest <laughs> thing ever. Um, they have uh, the the Ferengi women in Star Trek. If you don't know, are supposed to be naked at all times. So these ladies that are my friends, um, they dressed up as Ferengis, and they had robes on, and they'd open them up, and they had sensor bar, sensor bar. That's it was so, so creative, and I just they get so imaginative. It's I've seen so a fun. Sims costume like that, with the big cube yes. around it, and it's all blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that's I'm I'm excited to see things like that. What kind of like props and stuff do they have there? Like like photo opportunities. Um, they sometimes they have the actual not original set, but it's like a replica, and it's so much fun to be on, because everyone like gets in that pose in the captain's chair. Um, goodness, they they've brought the guardian. Um, it looks like a big smushy donut. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, that's it, it's it's a portal to other times. <laughs> But people love taking pictures out of there. Um, there, some people will be from other Vegas shows there, and so there, there's like a, I don't know, Elvis will be there or Marilyn Monroe will be there, and she'll come in with you and you jump out of it like you just brought her from back in time. So, so funny! It's so much fun. Um, let's see, what else do they have? I don't. I think they're gonna have Corpse Bar soon. They're gonna have Dabo Girls there and Ferengi there. And um, hopefully that'll, it, it's been growing every year. So it's kind of one of those things where like, we're not sure what it's gonna be, but we're hoping it's gonna be awesome. And you will be wearing? I will be wearing, um, goodness, let's see here, Thursday. I have a secret one, I can't tell you guys yet. Maybe you'll learn it later. We'll put in a picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a secret one. Um, I've got a, uh, it's this side of Paradise's Spock. So that's for Spock Day. Um, and it's, it's, it's like a green jumpsuit, and I've got the wig for it, I've got the ears for it, um, I've got, I'm really excited to do the makeup. I've got a mirror mirror or uhura, and that takes a lot of contouring. I love doing the makeup for stuff. It's just so fun. It gets me into that the That means character. I know the secret one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know which one it Only was Only like two be. people know the secret. It's going to be awesome, though. So awesome. And then I've got, let's see here, my Orion Slave Girl. Um, I do an Orion Slave, and then at night, I usually bring out the Orion Show Girl. And that's the only thing you can do in Vegas, because you can't do it anywhere else, because it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> but Show Girl, I have like these big ISIS like the big, wings. Like a, I saw them on Google. <laughs> 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 I wanted to look at the costumes, so I was just like, Joni Rosa's Star Trek convention. <laughs> Not that I haven't seen most of them, but I saw yeah. like the big gold things. It's it's awesome. It's my favorite thing because it's so flashy, and I only do it at night because it does block a lot of ways because it's like big wings. Um, let's see, what else do I do? I think that's all I've got this year. I usually do variants of Orion Slave. I want one day to do an Orion Pinup Girl. I think that'd be fun. That'd be cool. But um, that's all I've got so far. Yeah. And you're gonna dress up this year. I'm gonna dress up this year. <laughs> We're just gonna shove her in a bunch of costumes. It'll be fun. I love to be shoved in costumes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it works. Um, and then Eric Allen Hall is gonna be there. Yes. Uh, probably Mr. Data Mr. and Data. his Borg. Yeah, he and does so many variations yeah. of Data. It's so cool. Like he does like a Sherlock Holmes one. The one with the, the cat. One. Where is that from specifically? Um, Data just has a cat. Its name is Spot. And it's it's kind of in just random episodes everywhere, um, so just having Spot. Now, uh, you, have you seen the one where he has his head of himself, pretty much? I don't think so. Now that, I believe, is supposed to be Lore. I haven't asked him about it, but I believe it's supposed to be Lore, because there is an episode where um, Lore is, like, his evil brother. Spoiler alert. He had time. <laughs> but um, it's Lore, which is kind of his evil twin, which is just genius how Brent Spiner is so amazing with his acting like he's talking to himself but you watch this episode and it's very dynamic it's a dynamic character where um, it's like as if Data has too much emotion so he's kind of um, kind of like how people want to take over the world when they have too much emotion they're like oh this is how it is to be yeah, human yeah. let's take over the world because he's power. like I get it now yeah like so. Loki Exactly, yeah, exactly <laughs> like Loki. And we all love Loki. It's the same as Data and Laura. You, you love to hate him. But um, he does so many cool episodes like that. Okay, well, we're going to take a break. So I'm Mago. I'm Joe, bro. And we're part of the Whatever Makes, Makes You Weird, Weird podcast. How many circles are we doing? <laughs> a lot. Because this is what we would do before we took off our makeup. Our makeup. I'm not as pretty. <laughs> Megan, you're so pretty. Blink, blink. 
Barry. So we're here to plug our uh, sister podcast. Sister podcast. Whatever makes you weird. You yep. can find it at whatever makes you weird dot com. You can find or it on, on iTunes. iTunes. Tie tunes. Tie tunes. Tie fighter tunes. Tie fighter. What? Segway. Pew, pew. We have a very heated discussion about why Star Wars is better than Star Trek. Or not. Also, your necklace doesn't seem to fit around your fat head anymore. Well, I took, my makeup, so I took pretty, my makeup off. Literally pretty, minutes ago. <laughs> I know. What happened? I took my makeup off and it revealed my beard. I knew and my you fat had a beard. Head. Every time I've seen you on Facebook, I thought, <laughs> I'll bet she has a big beard. She probably does. All right. Okay. Well, check us out. Whatever makes you weird. We'll go com. back to the show. I'm going to put my makeup back on. Yeah, stay weird, guys. I like Lara Croft. <laughs> pew, pew. I shot you in the throat. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. That was an excellent short little break, wasn't it? Um, so we're going to start talking about the activities um, that you can do at Star Trek Las Vegas. Yes, there's what are your favorite so ones? many. Oh gosh. I think mine and everybody's favorite is karaoke. And it's pretty much, I think it's every night. So every night we, we're all still in costume and we go sing. I'm it's so excited for that. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. And a lot of us, like, practice together. Like, um, me and my friend are practicing princess songs. Dumb. But <laughs> I, I don't know. It's not themed, really. I mean, everybody's already dressed up, and we're all singing and having a great time. And uh, one of my friends, he is a rock star. You wouldn't think so when you're talking to him. You're, he's, he's like, oh, you know, he's a normal guy. But when he gets on stage, he just lights up the crowd. Everybody's dancing and partying. It's really fun. There's that. We have plenty of practice here. Oh, yeah. Salt Lake has yes. karaoke night at the yes. penalty box. The penalty box has been so awesome with that. And seeing the outcome of that. So if you've been to the penalty box and danced and sang with us there, you will love the Star Trek convention, even if you like Star Trek a little bit. And Eric Allen Hall will actually, like, he'll rewrite the lyrics to songs. Those are the best. Uh, like, um, we're Trekkies and we know it. Mm -hmm. Like, he's got a bunch of stuff. It's, so it's a lot of fun. Yes. Um, he sang one of them at a Salt Lake Comic Con's fan experience in mm -hmm. January, and I'm really excited to see what he does this time. That's like probably the thing I'm most excited yes. about right now. It's so creative. I mean, people get really creative. That's that's just the tricky way, I suppose. You know, people have their costumes. They've got, you know, their singing and their ideas of um, even parties. Like uh, we <laughs> make pool parties, like before <laughs> and after. It's a whole week event. It may be four days, but we come two days before and two days after. Just it's the just longest, nerdiest, trekkiest party of all time. It is. Oh, gosh. It's like and right then, So they have after parties. <laughs> yes, after um, parties. With celebrities that, um, that yes. attend there. Yeah, if you get gold passes, or I believe it's called Captain's Chair, um, Creation Entertainment puts you in like this uh, large room. It's like a ballroom, and you get... Uh, these, you know, you get ice cream, you get uh, cocktails sometimes, but there's tables, and what happens is you get like, uh, let's say six celebrities, and what'll happen is they have a timer, you get like uh, 30 minutes to just sit and hang out with them. You that is it. amazing. Like me and you doing this right now, we, we just talk around this round table, and then, you know, time's up, and then they switch to the next table, so you get you know, personal well, like time. quality time. That's something that I don't think any convention does. They don't, and it's, it's not not big. But it's not so big that they can't do that. It's it's yeah. small enough where you get that intimate time and you get that quality time with them. And you definitely get what you pay for, for sure. It's it's an awesome experience. I mean, you even get, they, they throw in autographs in there. You get to go uh, to panels. You get front row seating in panels. I don't know if a lot of comic cons <sighs> do that, but you get yeah, front like, row seating and stuff. That's super seats. cool. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I know like sometimes VIPs in some conventions yeah. will have like first come, first serve, but yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. They they open it up early or something. Yeah. Like yeah. That. I think you get that too. I don't know. But the vendors are really cool there. Um, they've got. There's always like even if you come without a costume, you can get one there. People will make them. They'll uh, sell really? like. Oh yeah. Oh like, gosh. Make them in front of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the, they they this make is them me there. Selling things. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It, it, on it a wavy is. table. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you're sewing. I love it. <laughs> But yes, they'll make them for you. So even if you are sewing like Megan, they <laughs> will fix it for you. <laughs> we have. I'm um, learning. <laughs> we have. Um, we even have like. This is why I sew things by hand. I understand how that how straight that goes. lines. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. But they can fix it for you there too. So they have a little station where you can get fixes if anything happens. And then you can show it off at the costume contest. Yes. Costume Look contest. at that segue. Yes. <laughs> Just sailed right into there. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So the costume contest is always cool. There's actually, there's so many people in so many costumes, they have to kind of limit it. So I think this year they've got two pre-qualifiers. So they've got pre-qualifications where you send pictures in and stuff like that and information on how you made it. Then they have another pre-qualifier where you say it, you do it in person. Exactly. Yeah. And you get cool. to kind of, you know, put your actions to it. And then there's the real thing. And everyone everyone can actually go to the pre-qualifications, too. So everyone gets to see them anyways, even if they don't make it through. I've seen some super cool photos. Yes. Of some of the, the costumes. They're magical. If, yeah, if you look it up, Star Trek Las Vegas Creation Entertainment, and you look up the cosplays they have. I mean, people go all out. They had a Klingon year, and there were so many Klingons. It was so cool. I'm excited to see the Borgs. The Borgs like, are creative. Like you were saying sure. earlier, obscure characters. Mm -hmm. like, like, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> there's, a, there's a girl there. She's just beautiful. She plays a character in an original series called Jem. And she's only in one episode, and she doesn't speak. But she does it perfectly. And it's just it's one of those episodes where it's like, oh, I love her. She's so perfect. <laughs> but th there's those there. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Uh, we have music video competitions too, so people will make their own music videos uh, with like clips from the show or themselves, and they have a contest. So like after the fact, like do they? Um, no, it's it's usually during like uh, during panels and stuff like that. Okay. Kind of cocktail hour, I guess you could say. Um, let's see, your panels are really cool. They have uh, makeup panels where you can see the actual artists. Doing that. Like actual like, from the show, actual. Yes, yeah. They they come and they they can sign uh, autographs, answer questions. That's the coolest thing too, is because it's, it's like so one on one with all it of these is. people. That it excites is. me because you. most conventions like they they have panels with celebrities, but there's not a lot of interaction. Like that, they open it up for like questions at the end. But you have like this five sounds people, that's way it. more like quality time. It is. I mean, they actually come down and then they'll talk to you. Like Michael Westmore will do. He did. Um, he did Dax's little specs all over, and he did it on on stage. And she got to wear the old costume, and she, it, it was oh, it was magical. Like they do things like that. A lot of uh, a lot of stars won't get back into costume outside of yeah. filming. And <coughs> Harrison Ford, <coughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, stuff like that. They'll they'll actually get into full costume. Like she went, she got into her wedding gown again, and it's this big Klingon wedding gown. It's beautiful. And it, it was just magical, and uh, people were there. They were so excited. They got to see the makeup on them and the costume. And it, it's just things like that. They're, they actually are involved in it. It's really, really cool. It's it's kind of, I don't know, it's it's a breath of fresh air. That's for awesome. Sure. So, like, some conventions will have Star Trek guests, mm -hmm. but if you want to see them and interact with them, then this is the place to be. A lot of the time they're actually on, on the vendor's floor so you can sit and talk with them all the time um William Shatner not so much you know the 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 really big stars of course yeah, yeah. but um mo for the most part I mean um you'll see Data there it's awesome Brent Spiner he is my favorite celebrity. I met him um in Salt Lake and he was really nice he is he, he told me I was cute <laughs> she's so awesome uh, I'm gonna be so excited because then he'll see me and you and he'll be like whoa <laughs> He's so cool. He's animated and he talks for like five minutes with each fan. Like they actually give you. I the love time when of day. people do that. Mm -hmm. It just makes you feel more special. Like that experience was a hundred percent worth it. Yes. Hundred and ten percent worth it. Hundred and ten. <laughs> right. So and this is happening August sixth through the ninth. Mm -hmm. You still have time. You do. Depending on when this airs. They usually have, have like coupons and stuff. You know, coupons online. And I know that you've been on this show before, but go ahead and. Uh, let them know where to find you. Oh, I'm Joni Brosis, and <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Facebook, Joni Brosis, J-O-A-N-I-E-B-R-O-S-A-S. -E it's a hard one. I don't know why I chose that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram's the same thing, at Joni Brosis. Snapchat, at Joni Brosis. Twitter. Twitter, at Joni Brosis. <laughs> How did I know? How about you, Perfect. Megan? Where can we find you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they would know this by now. Yeah. But, if you but um, <laughs> it's on uh, Facebook. It's facebook.com slash Megan Golden Creates. Or just Google Megan Golden Cosplay. You'll find her. Uh, mine are all different. Instagram is Megan X Golden because my name was taken. Don't know why. <laughs> uh, Twitter, name was taken. But that's Megoland, just like Legoland. Hashtag Megoland if you want to find her. That would be <laughs> the easiest way to do that. Yes, exactly. Yep. Um, and uh, you can check out our podcast that we just did mm -hmm. on Whatever Makes You Weird. Um, that one you can find on iTunes. We did a Star Wars versus Star Trek. 
it was going to be a discussion, but it ended up uh, in a debate. So yes. uh, <laughs> come check us out on cosplayforall.com, and that is it for us. We're going to fight now. It got you in the eyes. I totally won. Throat. <laughs> <laughs>